Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to um, this tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to make a wall sweep or trim um, in Revit. I will be using um, Autodesk Revit 2019 um, for this assignment. Um, for this tutorial, I mean, um, this tutorial is actually an assignment for me, for my class that I'm taking, Architecture 290, um, or you can say BIM 2. Uh, my name is Eddie, and I will help you to know how to do something that looks exactly like this or similar to this. You know, I have this wall sweep, this wall sweep that I've selected going around the entire structure, um, and I have this wall looking like that, and it goes even around um, this curved wall. Uh, this part of the curve wall right here as you can see um and it's kind of like a seamless thing so it goes really it goes around really really nice uh let me zoom out on this and move it show you it from the bottom you can see how it is there you go yep so um the first thing i'll show you um i'll ask you uh, um to do is um to build your wall or whatever it is that you have built and then um you um create a component um choose what kind of model you want to make it you want to let it be mine will be a generic um, model you pick a path um after picking a path um you will draw your lines as you, or your trim shape as you desire and then you will finish it so that's kind of like a summary of what I'm gonna do. So first thing I will first thing to do is I'll create a new project for this. Um, and so let, let me see what I was doing one more time. Yeah, project, yeah. And okay. All right, so this is the new thing I'm gonna do. I have my wall, I'll build my wall. I'm gonna make it say 50 by 80. Right, so I go down 50 feet. And I go this way, say 80 feet, and go up again, um, 50, and then back 80. Um, if I show you this in 3D, the wall looks really, really short. It's like there's nothing here. So I'm going to make it about, let's say, about 10 feet. Um, I'll select all the walls in the entire project. I will make it um, unconnected so that it's not really defined. And then let's say 10 feet. Yep. If you go to the 3D, you will see it right there. There we go. Now I want this wall and that wall to um, look a little different from the regular thing. So what I'll do is I will let's say pick this wall and click on edit profile. Edit profile. Oh, cancel. Um yeah. This wall. Edit profile. Let's say, yeah, that view is just perfect. I have it set. Um, I'm going. I'm going to delete this wall, and then build and create a new one over there. Uh, since this is my 50 feet, I'll come back. I'll come here. Let's say 15 feet. Um, I'll switch what kind of wall I want to use and make that. Let's say 20 feet. All right. Oh, sorry, 20 feet. It means that I'm going to have about um, 15 feet left um, at the end. I'll make this um, the radius for this curved wall to be, let's say, 12 foot. All right, 12 feet right here. And then I'll finish off my wall by bringing it to the end of it right here. There we go. And if I click on this, it will have my wall all done. There you go. Perfect. Now let's say the other wall um, from the front here and edit profile, click on that, delete it. Uh, let me get rid of this view. Um, wall, once again, 15 feet. Oh, just like before, right there, spot on. Come here, about 20 feet. Make the curve about 12 feet um, for, for the radius. And then finish your wall by going to the end of it again, 15 feet. Perfect. 
click on the green check box check mark and then you are done you have your walls in place all right now the next i'm going to do is to um set the path for my wall okay i will start from this end and then go round okay um so the first thing to do is you come to click on component and architecture the component model in place like i said in the beginning you click on generic i'll make mine in generic models let's say wall sweep or trim okay and i'll click on sweep i cannot do it much right now as you can see so what i have to do is to pick a path where i want my sheet to start click here and i say i want it to go all around okay if you not notice this the wall ends so i have to click on this side too um to make sure that all the lines are meeting and then we don't have a break in any of the lines and note that i'm also doing this on the face of the wall where i want the sweep to be so if you want it to be on the inside part of your wall or the interior part of the wall you make sure you do that there i want mine to be on the exterior part of this wall same and then finish off um the end right here and then we're done then i can click on the green check mark and now i can go edit profile now i want my trim um to look um i want to have two curves that's what i have in mind right now i'll make it six inches go down let's say two inches and one inch and then another one inch i these um these two lines that i've drawn here i will delete them later because i'll put in another curved line right between these points um but i'll just keep them there for the meantime let's say i'm going to go down about eight inches right um eight inches and you have that right there so is that eight yep inches perfect I come this way, let's say about so yep, about two inches, and then about three inches this way. It's not too bad, and then let's say one inch, one inch. All right, now to the curve lines that I said I would do. I will draw this to this point. I might have to, I may have to change the appearance of these curve lines um, later. But let's get there, there first. Okay, now this is only good. So I'm going to change this one, like I said. From here to this point, uh, let's say I'll make it look maybe something wider than that. So I'm going to remove this line um you make your 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 trim or your sweep look whatever way you want it to look you know whatever way suits you best and you do just that now i want mine to look something like this this looks good for me also i'm, I'm going to end this right here you can add some style to it if you want and then um let's say uh this is two inches right so um let's say Come in here. Let's, uh, I just want to create something a little bit different. All right. Let's say, yeah, do something like that. Not bad. I want to get rid of these lines and make it look a little bit weird. Yeah, but yeah. And then I click on this and then I click on it again. And then it has my sweep going around the entire model. There you go. I can finish the model and it's done. There you go. Uh, let me add some color to this. Now you can see it better. There we go. It's better. So yeah, I have it coming this way, coming that way. Whichever way works best for you, you can just do it that way. And if you want to see it from the curved wall side, here we go. You can see that just here. 
Yep, and this is all I have for you today. Thanks for tuning in. Leave your comments down below and have a good day.